Alrighty you guys, welcome back to Beauty in the Dawn with Shay Shay. Like promised, I am back with my Becca foundation review that I received in my BoxyCharm box for February. It says Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. So, if you watch my BoxyCharm unboxing, you know that the shades were just a little bit off. You know, this shade was a little yellow and I usually gravitate to orange <laughs> tone shades. So, we're going to put this foundation to the test. So, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link uh, up above. And of course, finish this video first. You know what? I'll just put it in the description box below so you can check it out. So you can see the swatches based off my other two foundations, Maybelline Fit Me and Estee Lauder Double Wear. So you can see how the shades differ. But you know, we're going to try to make it work today. So my face is already clean. I've already did my eyebrows. Uh, you know, I always struggle with those. They always say that they are sisters, not twins. Although I always try to get them perfect, it never happens. So let's start off with a moisturizer. And I'm going to try, try to pull as many products as I could from my BoxyCharm box and my Ipsy box, you know, so I can use some of those products. So this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. So I'm going to moisturize. Oh, it does feel good. Or maybe, oh, it smells good too. Maybe because my face was a little dry. So let's put a little bit of this. If you see me looking this way, it's just because that's where my mirror is. That's where my mirror is. Mmm, that felt good. I'm going to put a little bit more on. So that was kind of cool. I think I had the spray in that too, the setting spray. But that's not the setting spray I pulled out today. So won't be using that one today, but that is nice. Glad I got to try that out today. So, face is moisturized and it's, I like the stickiness that it gives. I like that. So, the um, primer that we're going to be using is the No Pore Blend Primer by Touch and Soul. Smooth and pore covering, top secret for perfect makeup. And you'll hear me fussing all the time about these pores I have on my face. So, we just go on. Push that into the skin. Right in my pore areas, right there. I am pushing it into my skin. Okay. Yes, you can see kind of some of my problematic areas. When I get ready to put on my foundation, I'll zoom in a bit. But Monday through Friday, I really don't wear makeup. I'm okay with my skin. Just the way it is. So, have any of you guys tried the Becca Foundation? What shades do you use? I am so curious. I am so scared to try this foundation. I have my um, go-to foundation, so it's always scary trying a new foundation. So we will see. Um, now that my face is moisturized and primed, alrighty, I am feeling good, you guys, feeling good. So I'm gonna zoom in. Just a little bit. Ooh, not that close. <laughs> you don't need to see my soul. Okay, so here we go. The shade that I'm using today is Maple. So, has anybody ever worn a foundation for 24 hours? Oh, just to let you know, I never use a sponge, but I'm going to use a sponge today. And I'm just wetting it with some setting spray. So, it's damp and... I am using the Luxie sponges that I got. It's a set of three that I got in my BoxyCharm box. So I do use the products, majority of them that I receive. So my sponge is damp. So let's just see. Let's see. Pump, 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 pump. When you first start out, you got to pump for dear life. There we go. So let's just see. So we'll just start out with a little bit. I am not a big sponge user. I am a brush girl, but I wanted to try these sponges out for you guys. Let you know what I think. Hmm. What are you guys thinking? Am I looking a little yellow? <laughs> I always say you can make a foundation work if it's too dark. 
But if it is too light, I just do not know what to do with that. So, we shall see. This is a foundation review video. So we gonna review it. Alrighty. Okay. This is supposed to be full coverage? Did it say full coverage? Nope, it just says ultimate coverage. So I popped a couple times. We're gonna pop a couple of more times, okay? So I gotta get this tin head. <laughs> Okay, only I can talk about my head. I don't went into my eyebrows a little bit, but I could fix that. Only I can talk about this forehead I got. Can't believe I went into my eyebrows like that. But I'll fix it in a little bit. Alrighty, really not sure how I feel about this foundation yet. <laughs> I'm looking really yellow. And, um, yes, I'm looking a lot yellow. More yellow in the camera than I am in person. Ooh, that didn't sit well right there. It's a little patchy. Okay, let me back up some so y'all can see me. Oh, Becca. Just don't know. Okay. Zoom in my camera a little bit. Does more foundation make it better or worse? Because I'm adding more. Because it's not covering up my um, problematic areas. So I'm just trying to get those areas covered up. And I'm going to use a little bit more setting spray. Dampen this a little bit. Try to make it blend in a little bit better. But this process can take a while. Blending is not easy. I can still see my mole as I know that this is claiming to be ultimate coverage. Oh my gosh, it's just not blending well hmm. on my skin. I didn't do anything different than I do with it, my regular foundations. Okay. What are we looking like, you guys? What do you think? It's not horrible. I have patches on my face. I don't usually have patches. See this side? And then front on. I am not loving this foundation. Oh gracious. Okay. So this is what I'm looking like pull my hair back down okay so this is how I'm looking with my Becca foundation in the shade maple Ugh. okay so what I'm going to do is pause this video um, apply a little concealer some bronzer and come back and show you guys the finished product and see we'll see what happens once i apply all the extra products it doesn't look horrible it was a little scary but it's not horrible it's not 
full coverage on me so let me apply the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back alrighty you guys so I'm back and I think I made this foundation work I mean it was a little scary I'm doing some little side angles so you can see basically the only thing that I did was I added a little bronzer a little face powder some blush and I don't think I look too bad <laughs> So I made it work. Okay, so we're going to keep using it for the rest of March to see how I like it at the end of the month. But it's okay. I mean, it's okay. I had to work with it a little bit. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope my um, Becca foundation try on helped you. Maybe if we're similar shades, you can try this foundation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It just wasn't my favorite foundation. Let's see, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would I? Mm, I'd probably give it a 6. But I mean, like I said, I'm using the rest of March and see if it was just maybe it was the moisturizer or maybe it was the primer that I used with it. I'll try, I'll switch it up this month and see how I like it. Because right now, I think I look pretty good. So, uh, the only thing that's missing from my face is my eyeshadow, and that's because I'm getting ready to record a second part to this video using the Jackie Ayana eyeshadow palette. I'm going to do a one, uh, a two shadow look. Very simple. So if you want to see that video, you'll have to wait a few days. I'm going to post this video with the Becca foundation like on a Monday, Tuesday, and then on Friday the eyeshadow look will be posted. So we shall see. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Comment down below if you tried this foundation. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Beauty on a Die with Shay Shay. Boop. Alrighty. So I just finished recording my <laughs> Brown Sugar Box by Izzy and Liv. And I keep looking at my foundation. I keep looking at myself. And I just want to say I look good. I'm, I'm tripping on this foundation. I'm going to definitely keep trying it. I know I said it previously. I'm going to keep trying it. But I've recorded two whole other videos. And I just keep it's settling into my face really good. Maybe I'm being overjudgmental or something. I don't know. But this foundation looks good, y'all. So, yeah. Just thought I'd add that clip in. Bye. Bye.